up? It's your boy Heaven Hollywood back on the IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor in case you didn't know. It's icydk.blog. What in the hell is going on with these rappers? So, and, and better yet, what's going on with these rappers that date Chloe and Holly? Because today, DDG was arrested on felony charge. If you don't know who DDG is, he is a rapper and he dates Holly Bailey from Chloe and Holly. Now, I'm just going to take a look at this uh, article from Hollywood Unlocked. DDG may have went viral last week after showing off his vocal skills to girlfriend Holly Bailey in an endearing social media clip. But on Monday, the YouTuber and rapper was arrested for felony gun possession of a concealed weapon, per TMZ. It all started when LAPD pulled G- DDG, real name Daryl Granberry Jr., over for recklessly driving through the streets of Los Angeles in a Lamborghini. It's alleged that the 24-year-old joyriding, which initially led to the arrest, before cops retrieved the gun from the vehicle, prompting them to take him to the Valley Jail. And his bond was set at $35,000, with an official police report from the LAPD Sheriff's Office revealing that DDG was released in the early hours of Tuesday morning. A court date was had been set for June 28th. It remains unclear whether he also received a ticket for a speeding offense or if police will simply submit the incident with a gun charge. Man, (laughs) y'all flying through the the night in a Lamborghini all over the speed limit probably. I mean, just unnecessary thing for you guys to get pulled over. If you remember, Chloe Bailey dated um, Gunner, and we know he was recently pulled over for the, you know, he was recently charged with the RICO Act. And now here's DDG arrested, so I don't know. Right now, Chloe and Holly, the luck ain't looking too good on dating them. Let's just hope everything is all right. Next up, we got the queen of rap, Nicki Minaj, and she's added a third performance for the summer. Well, it's really uh, the fall, September 23rd and 24th in Las Vegas for the iHeart Radio Musical Festival, Music Festival. Of course, Nicki Minaj already has the Wireless Festival coming up July 10th in London. And of course, the Essence Festival July 1st in New Orleans. So Nicki Minaj has on another um, performance. That performance Friday the 23rd and the 24th of September is for the iHeart Radio Music Festival, Alva Levine, Black Eyed Peas, Halsey, Lionel Richie, LL Cool J, Luke Combs, Marion Morris, Morgan Wallen, Nicki Minaj, Pat Benatar, and Neil Gerardo, Sam Smith, and the Black Keys. Tickets available at SHX uh, at AXS.com. So we look forward to seeing Nicki Minaj. Do her thing. Remember the three dates. And the three spots is London, New Orleans first, London second, set in September 23rd and 24th, the iHeart Radio Music Festival. And Cardi B will close it out with some news about her. Now she was on Twitter, and I believe her album Invasion of Privacy uh, climbed up on some spots on the charts. She said this, so let me get this straight. All the albums that y'all was crying and hollering should be over Invasion of Privacy. Y'all didn't make their sales jump, but made mine jump 120 plus spots in sales? Question mark. Thanks for the fast uh, and, and, and effortless uh, promo. I didn't have to lift a finger. Uh, she said, and speaking of Invasion of Privacy, Rolling Stone release their, I believe it is top 10 female rap albums in, in history. And they ranked it, uh, yeah, the, well, they actually ranked the greatest female hip-hop albums of all time. And 
number one on that list, which I list here, is Missy Elliott, like Missy, which I believe the album was called So Addictive. Second, they had The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. Third, they have Invasion of Privacy. Uh, I believe fourth is Lil' Kim's Hardcore. And fifth is Pink Friday by Nicki Minaj. Um, this uh, list was put out by Rolling Stone. Number six was Super Dope Fly, also by Messi Elliott. Seven was Hot, Cool, and Vicious by Salt and Pepper. Eight was Room 28 by No Name. Ninth was All Hail the Queen by Queen Latifah. And tenth is Fever by Megan the Stallion. So, y'all let me know what you think about that. And that's the 10 greatest female hip-hop albums of all time. According to the Rolling Stone, expect to start seeing some more of these um, leak out. Some more of these lists from these websites like Rolling Stone, Billboard, Double XL. You'll start seeing more of these lists you know, come about. So, let me know what you think down below. Let me know what you think about this list of top 10. Do you think they're accurate? Where would you put certain certain albums? And if there are any left out, let me know what you will you would put in and what you would take out. Then uh, also let me know in the comments about DDG. Or oh, is Chloe and Holly cursed? I mean Gunna went went under they got Gunna. And now she, start, she hangs out with DDG. Holly is with DDG. They're over the weekend, all over live, laughing and smiling. And he gets picked up. So let me know in the comments what you think.